now we can go and finish episode 3. After that we have the expansion campaigns, which is awesome. So, the Zerg Overmind has success, succeeded in invading the Prota... Okay. Ooh, this looks good. I don't think this is how it looked in the original. Entar of Adun, Executor. I am Judicator Aldaris. I have been sent by the Conclave to serve and... Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh man, this... So many years have passed since I've heard that. These dragons. For vengeance. For vengeance. For vengeance. Oh look at the animations. Let let wait. Let's see, let's see what they what they say if they you click on them. I love for combat. What man calls. I love for combat. What man calls. Entaru Adun. All for the Empire. Doom to all who threaten the home world. He saw too. I long for combat. She house. What man calls. Entaru Adun. Okay. Nothing funny. Me. Just some serious shenanigans. That's what you would expect from the protest. Sankaladas. Make use of me. Unauthorized transmission. Incorrect protocol. Drop your weapon, you have 15 seconds to comply. Oh shit, was that from the Robocop movie? Five, four, three, two, one. Ha! <laughs> I am needed. Transmit. Okay, that was funny. Awaiting instructions. Oh. I get the feeling sometimes that the attack command, like uh, this one, not the move, hold pressure, attack, uh, doesn't uh, work properly. Yeah, you see, this guy just. Yeah. Let's try to micro a little bit. So that guy just walked in there, didn't go straight for the attack. Uh, which you would expect when you use the button like that to just go straight for the attack. Now, I'm not gonna venture out too much here because I don't know what I don't know what's on the map on these unseen uh, bases. So let's just go uh, go to the base. And then build up the army if necessary. I mean, I'm guessing we're gonna. Oh, okay, I guess. Where are you running? You know what? None of my business. We have a really nice natural defense around the base, looks like. Oh, we have some. some zerglings here, but these will be. this won't be a problem. Zerglings usually melt away in front of the. Protoss units. Hello, Phoenix. Ah, uh, Executor, Entaro Adun. It is good to see you once more upon the field of battle. Okay, we have gas. Yes, we have gas. We're gonna leave Felix in the base. Uh, yeah. Awaiting instructions. Okay. I had intended to construct photon cannons here for defense, but without probes, we could not do so. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I have units now, so I'm not gonna think too much about that. Unpowered. Okay. We need uh, we need a pylon. Yeah. And when we would play uh, with my mates at the cafe, uh, 
usually with the protoss the protocol was like just cannons everywhere man cannons everywhere defend with cannons <laughs> Phoenix coming to base. Yeah, so Phoenix is around two and a half, or even more stronger than uh, the usual Zerg. I mean uh, Protoss. So we're gonna need one of these cybernetics core if we are to build uh, dragons. I'm gonna focus on. Uh, Command. On economy, although I don't know how much, how much, how realistic this uh, opposition will be. What? Why aren't these guys not firing? Okay, I guess I'll just leave them, hold them down here. We're gonna need another pylon soon. Some probes in the assimilator. Let's not allow them to spy on us. Where's the observer? Oh, it fell back. Okay. Okay. Observer fell back. Build another pylon. Because then, how it works is if you build pylons, then you can only build buildings in this area. You need pylons and able to be able to build uh, buildings. So I'm aiming for this one for the plasma shield. What else we can build? I'm guessing not. Yeah, just the basic stuff at the beginning. Fair enough. Let's see if the assimilator is uh, saturated. Uh, yeah, it's mostly so. We're gonna leave it at that. Uh, we have quite a good army here. Solid, solid stuff. Let's build up the army a little bit more and then move out. Let's build another forge. Oh, the forge is uh, more expensive than uh, the upgrade building for the Zerg. So we're not gonna be like, you only build three when you really uh, have a, a solid economy. Uh, we don't have that now, so we're gonna sit on two. Two is enough. Two are enough. Uh, cybernetic score. Yeah, can we afford it right now? Probably by the time the probe goes there, we're gonna afford it, right? right. Then we can afford another probe. Yes. Perfect timing. Okay, maybe some upgrades, maybe some extra units. Let's go for another zealot. 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 zealot whatever you want to call them, in this unit, and then uh, build another one. While well, the economy keeps on growing and we can uh, finally do some upgrades on the units. But for now it's just sitting around and uh, doing the usual shenanigans. Look at this, they're dropping units. <laughs> Interesting. Wonder why would they do that? Hit those, hit those, come on dragons. Okay, they're gonna get them. Okay. Yeah, that's enough, that's enough. That's enough. We don't want them to venture too far out. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need an additional pylon. 
We must construct additional pylons. Yeah, build another barrack. We must construct additional pylons. <laughs> okay, brother. Ah, you know what? Let's go for another forge. The forges look so nice, man. Uh, I like how they combined it, so it, it looks like a mill, but it's obviously more a high-tech. A high-tech mill. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, pylon is out. So we're gonna build another dragon. Dragoon. But I'm gonna call them dragons. This upgrade would be nice, it increases the dragoon's attack range. So. There you go. I forgot, man. I've been like, compared to. RTS games that are more modern. This one, it always takes a lot of time to build upgrades, to take to get out the units. It's uh, it's a slower, slower game. But that doesn't mean it's bad or something. It's just different, and it's interesting to see how that it was like that back in the day. Back in the day, you know, when I was young and handsome. No, I'm just handsome. My life for <laughs> Let's build another one here. Just so we're not always on the verge of uh, getting capped. Uh, I think we're gonna be like... I'm gonna have, get, build uh, two unit groups. And I'm gonna push out with those. Those will be enough. But before I do that, I'll build some uh, cannons here. Uh, to have some defense. So we're, have, we're gonna have the 1-1 one, one upgrades. By the time we push out at least these two we're gonna have. <clears throat> Get over here. Let's build some. I am doing it. Okay, we're gonna build this one here. Another one here. So what we would usually do is like block it off with uh, barracks, uh, gateways, but that was, yeah. So we're gonna wait until we have two, two units, two groups, I mean. I'm not gonna do more probes because the resources here are very limited, so there's no use to do overkill. Uh, let's just wait for the uh, units to be built. Build another pylon here, maybe. Yeah, another pylon here. That's good. I'd like to. There you go. Okay, these two. Mm, let's go for a few more zealots. Zealots? Zealots? Zealots. I'll go with zealots. That's what I'm gonna call them. Zealots, okay? <clears throat> it's 150 minerals for one of these towers. Not cheap. Not cheap. And that's like, that's the trade off usually when you play with the Protoss. Quality, but for a price, you know, which is fair enough. Can this guy? Oh, there you go. Okay, let's do some more dragoons in this unit, and we're gonna get be good. How much minerals? 125. Okay. There, you come here and build me another pylon. When you will be able to. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Oh yeah. There you go. Now I have four cannons here. 
I mean, realistically talking, it's gonna be enough. So I'm not gonna build more cannons. Uh, we're gonna have to... The, yeah, that's good. It should be enough. Let's see the pros to this. I don't think they see anything different. Maybe another time. Oh, interesting. Now they, they yeah. They put up some, some units up there. Okay, now the thing is, I'm good. I'm good. So let's go ahead and move out. Let's see where the... Zerg bases. I'm guessing that'll do something here. Yep. We're gonna take this over. Melt those Zerg units, baby. <laughs> oh shit. Hide, little probe, hide. No, where did it? No. Okay, go back. Okay, this is gonna be the defensive unit. So, yeah, you can go back now. I don't know where these guys came from. Maybe they were just uh, camping there. Oh, this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna put it here. Because you cannot build Protoss units on this uh, on the Zerg uh, slime. What do you call this? Yeah, I guess you can call it slime. But we're gonna build a pylon also next to it, so we can build some cannons, some defensive cannons. But I think this might be it here. Yeah. This base, I don't know, we'll see. I wouldn't want to build some. You know it, Sekitor. Although we too have marched across hundreds of worlds together, I never imagined that we would be fighting an Aya. The Zerg are indeed worthy foes. Okay, that was it. Into the flames. <laughs>